Hello there little wood mice and door mice. Welcome to today's phonics. Let's start by going along our letter line. See if you can join in and do the actions at home. S and S and A and A. A and A. T and T. T and T. P and P. P and P. I and I. I and I. N and N. N and N. M and M, M and M, C and D, C and D, G and G, G and G, O and O, O and O, C and K, C and K, K and K, K and K, together they make, together they make, E and A, E and A, U and A, U and A, R and R, R and R. F and F, F and L and O, L and O, B and B, B and B, H and P, H and P, J and J, J and J, B and R, V and R, W and W, W and W, accent, accent, Y and Y, Y and Y, Z and Z, Z and Z. Now we're going to practice our digraphs and trigraphs. Remember, digraphs are two letters that make one sound, and trigraphs are three letters that make one sound. Digraph, sh, digraph, sh, digraph, sh, digraph, sh, digraph, 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 m, digraph, m, digraph, a, digraph, a, digraph, o, digraph, o, digraph, e, digraph, e, digraph, o, digraph, o. Digraph L, digraph L, digraph R, digraph R, digraph R, digraph R, digraph U or U, digraph U or U, digraph Oi, digraph Oi, digraph I, digraph I, trigraph Air, trigraph Air, digraph Ear, digraph Ear, digraph Ua, trigraph Ua. Now today we're going to look at the digraph Ch. Now Ch is made with a C and a H. And together, when those letters are together, they make a ch sound. So let's see if we can practice. Everybody get your magic fingers. <laughs> Give them a blow. I'm going to get, I'm going to go with different colours today. I'm going to go with green. So I'm going to look at the C first. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to curl around and stop. Get your magic finger and go again with me. Start at the top, curl around and stop. Now we're going to do our H. So we start at the top, we go down, back up halfway over like a bridge and flip. Let's do that again. We start at the top, we go down, back up halfway, over like a bridge and flip. Okay, super. Now I want you to practice by standing up. Get your finger in front of you. I want you to start at the top of your C to start with. Start at the top, we curl around and stop. Now we're going to do our H. We start at the top, we go down, back up halfway, over like a bridge and flip. Now try in front of you on a table, on your computer top or on your leg. Or on your carpet, whatever you can touch that near to you. Start at the top for your C, curl around and stop. Now for your H, start at the top, go down, back up halfway, over like a bridge and flip. And then let's go to our writing pad to get your hand ready. Let's do our C first, start at the top and go round and stop. Put your hand at the top for your H and go down, back up halfway, over like a bridge and flip. Okay, and for so you need to be in a train. So you can get your hands either side of your body and move them like a train's wheels. Okay, and then we're going to practice saying that sound. It sounds a bit like a train. That's why we do those actions. Okay, I say ch, we say ch, you say. I say ch, we say ch, you say. Deeper. Let's see if we can now go and see if we can find the pictures that have the initial sound ch. What's this a picture of? That's it, a chair, or this is pointing at something in particular, a chin, queen, chicken. Which one start with a ch sound? That's right, get your magic fingers ready. We're going to write them together. I'm going to go back, I'm going to go blue this time. A chair starts with a ch sound. We start to go round and stop. So I took me down, back up, over like a bridge, and flip. Yes, 
Also, a chin does start with a ch sound. Third shot goes curl round and stop. Third shot goes down, back up, save, and flick. Now we can finish chin. Ch, e, n, chin. You might finish chair for me if you didn't even hear the sounds in chair. Now queen. No, nope, that doesn't start with a ch. That starts with a qu sound that we did yesterday. But chicken does start with a ch sound. So start at the top, curl around, and stop. Now for our H, let the top go down, back up halfway, over like a bridge and flick. And you might want to write that now down on a piece of paper so you can share that with us, how to write chicken. Now we're going to get our bouncing balls ready now. Okay, I want you to bounce those balls ready. Chicken. 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 Now, today we're going to do something slightly different. It is called build a sentence. So I've got all the words here that make our sentence. And we have to see if we can make it. Okay, so let's read the words that we've... Well, I'm going to tell you the sentence I want to write. I want you to make the sentence, she has lots of chips. She has lots of chips. We need to look at that first word, it's that tricky word, she. Some of you might have practiced this word already, some of you might not have. So she. So it's not one that we can sound out, it's one that we just know by looking at it, and here it is. She. Now we need has. So let's think, what's that first sound we hear? Has. Oh, let's have a look. Can I see? Oh, look here. I'm going to check this word. Ha, uh, has. Yeah. She has lots. Oh, what sound can we hear at the beginning of lot? Lot. That's right, that all sound. Oh, that doesn't have the all sound. That doesn't. Oh, but this one does. Let's check. Lot. Lot. Yes. She has lots of. Oh, oh there's a off, off, of. She has lots of chips. Let's check. Chips. Chips. She has lots of. Oh, I can't fit it in there, so I'm going to go underneath. She has lots of chips. So we just built that sentence together. I'm now going to go to our next sentence. Now this sentence I want you to make is the van will chug up the long hill. The van will chug up the long hill. See if you can move the words to make that sentence. Now, if you've got the activity at home and you've got a printer, you can chop up the letters I've done. If not, it might be that you can write the letters on a post-it note to be able to move the words to make it, and we'll be able to do it together. The van will chug up the long hill. Can we see that tricky word there? I can see two. It's really important because we're starting our sentence. We need a capital letter at the beginning. And this is the capital T, so I know this is the first body one. The van. So I'm looking for my v sound. Oh, that. Van. The van will. Will. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Will. The van will chug. Oh, I can see that sound we've just practiced. Chug. The van will chug up. Up. The van will chug up the, oh, I knew that tricky word, there it is. The van will chug up the long, oh, 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 oh mm, long hill. Let's check. Hill. My clue there is it's a full stop, so I know that's going to be at the end. The van will chug up the long hill. Now, you might want to make your own sentences with the words that have a ch sound. And there's an extra activity sheet where I've got more words for you to read that start with a ch. There's also some sentences with words with ch for you to read. And then there's an activity for you to have on Bob to see if you can solve which ones are real or nonsense words. We cannot wait to see your amazing learning. <laughs>